So what is data? Let's look at the scoreboard here, which we normally see in the TV. Here you can see uh, the scoreboard for a bowler in which we have a bowler's A and B. So the bowler A has actually bowled 10 hours and in which two of them are his maiden overs. He had given some 40 runs and has taken some three wickets. Now, if you see this numbers, 10 to 43, without actually being associated with overs, maiden overs, runs given, wickets taken, or off bowler A, then they do really make any sense? Guess no, they are just our numbers, 10 to 43. But when you associate this 10 with the number of overs bowled by bowler A and 2 with the number of maiden overs bowled by bowler A, it really makes sense that we are trying to tell something about bowler A, how he has bowled in a particular cricket match. The same is with the bowler B. There's some, uh, some kind of numbers being written here, 10, 1, 32, which actually talks about how many hours the bowler B has bowled, what are his maiden hours, how many runs he has given, and how many wickets he has taken. From being associated, when these numbers are being associated with the particular properties of over maiden hours of bowler A and B, it tries to give some information. So data is actually a collection of numbers where we try to get some information out of it. The same thing is here with the batsman. You can see here there are some numbers 45, 62, 75, 55, 70, 81, which are actually trying to give some kind of information about the batsman E and F. Let's try to see this next example. In this example, we have here a numbers 4, 5, 11, 3, 7. They are some kind of absolute numbers, which we are talking about number of students. Here, let's say 4 is a number of students. So 4 number of students are what? We are trying to associate it to the modes, modes of their traveling to a school. So here they are trying to number of students that try or that travel through private car. So through private car, the number of students are 4. The number of students that travel through a public bus are 5. Through school bus are 11. Through cycle, they are 3. And through walking, they are 7. So we can say that the most popular, most popular mode of travel is through a school bus. And the least popular travel is through a cycle. So we are trying to have some numbers, associate these numbers with some properties like number of students, how they try to travel and then we try to generate some information out of it. So what is data? A data is a collection of numbers which are gathered or they are gathered to get some information. That's all for this session. Thank you.